Uh, my name's Rob. I make mechanical sculptures out of mainly rusty bits of junk and all sorts. Sort of anywhere between sculpture, art and science, sort of crossover. And yeah, sell them around the world. Eden was the first big break, really. They commissioned us to make a big nutcracker. Well, they commissioned us to make a big something, anything really nice. Just make something that's big. So, make them a big nutcracker. For me, VAT registering is really good. It actually makes me a fair bit of money because I'm on the flat rate scheme, which is really straightforward. I'm just 9.5%. My name's Sid and I started more Accountancy in 2010. We're a micro practice based in South Manchester in Altrincham. Being a small business ourselves, we really add value to other businesses because we are living what they're also living. VAT stands for Value Added Tax. It's an indirect tax that is pretty much put on every product and service bought in the UK. Every business can choose whether to be VAT registered or not. If they hit £85,000 turnover, they have to be VAT registered and it's really important that they understand the implications of being VAT registered and what it means for their business. The implications of being VAT registered mean that you must ensure you pay VAT quarterly to HMRC. So it's really important that your accounting records are there and detail the VAT on your sales, less the VAT on your purchases, so you know how much to pay HMRC each quarter. Deciding to be voluntary VAT registered is an important decision. If most of your supplies are to other VAT registered businesses, then it may be worth you becoming VAT registered even if you're below the VAT threshold. For example, if you are a painter and you charge £100 a day as a standard rate, if you are VAT registered, you charge £120, £100 plus £20 VAT. If you are supplying your service to a VAT registered business, because you're painting their office for example, then they can claim that £20 back off their next VAT bill. However, if you are charging £120 to an individual, a homeowner, and you're painting their hallway, in that instance, they've just had a 20% increase on their bill. Because I don't feel it fit into any category and any taxation, I think I'm, I'm as a fabricator, which doesn't really reflect what I do at all. So the percentage that's allocated doesn't actually reflect the percentage spent and all my clients are VAT registered anyway so that doesn't affect them. The way to manage VAT is to ensure you have good record keeping. So ensuring all your sales and the VAT on your sales are recorded properly and the purchases and the VAT on the purchases are recorded properly. That means that each quarter when you do your VAT return you can easily see how much VAT you have to pay to HMRC. Another way to manage your VAT would be to each month see what your VAT liability is and put that into a separate savings account and then at the end of each quarter you transfer money out of your savings account into your current account to settle your VAT bill. That means you don't keep looking at your current account and thinking I've got all this money when really some of that money belongs to HMRC. I think people forget that with VAT and the other taxes. They think the money's theirs. They're like, oh, I've got £120, whereas really they've only earned £100. Mainly it forces you to do some basic accounting every three months rather than every year, so that's quite useful in itself. 